Hello, it's Ruby, and today I am going to be sharing 35 things that you might want to do before back to school starts. Back to school really is just around the corner. I can't believe how near we are to the end of summer and it already feels like autumn is creeping in, which I'm not complaining about. But today I'm going to be showing you some of the things that I like to do before back to school and things that you might want to do too. All of them are things which will help you to go into the new year feeling more motivated, prepared and organized. <music> This video is going to be separated into four parts. So we've got academic things to do, organization, lifestyle, and then fun. So first of all, we're gonna start with academic things that you can do, uh, because obviously that is probably the most important bit. So the first thing is starting to look through your course information and familiarizing yourself with the classes you're taking. I like to make a page with all of the key information on Notion, so everything's in one place, and I have all of the key details of the course put together. Second thing is to start doing some pre-reading and actually preparing academically. If you're at university, I'd recommend doing all of your work for week one, which you should be able to find online. So doing the readings and preparing the seminar questions so that you're not going to be racing to get all of this done in the first few days of term. I'd also recommend doing at least one piece of critical extra reading which will get you ahead for your first week and also set you up well for the module or the class that you're doing. Having a basic knowledge of what you're studying is just going to help you to be more engaged with the material and make more from your classes. The fourth thing is setting up your academic planner for the new year and getting that organization system all in order so you don't have to worry about how you're going to be organizing your life when term starts. This is also a quick note to say that the academic planner will be available as a PDF download from Monday just in case you weren't able to get hold of a physical one. Also set up your folders if you're going to be using folders or notebooks or Notion if you're going to be using Notion. Just get this system ready so that you can start taking notes and you don't have to be worrying about where you're going to be storing everything. And I would recommend choosing just one way of taking notes so like choosing folders, notebooks, Notion as opposed to having lots of things in different places because it just makes it harder to navigate your notes and it's much easier to lose track of something. I also like to set goal grades for each of my subjects and also make a note of how I can actually achieve this. So I might set my goal grade as a first but then write down the things I'm going to do to make sure I actually get that first. So for example reading to extra critical essays a week or practicing my academic writing. Put your key dates in your calendar, so deadlines and term dates, so that you don't accidentally forget anything because the absolute worst thing to happen is to forget about an academic deadline. I'd recommend looking through your notes from last year and clearing out, getting rid of anything you don't need anymore so that you are just a little more decluttered and just be selective because often a lot of the material that we have from last year is not going to be relevant anymore. Leading on from that last one, back up key documents in a second location in case you lose them. So anything which was important from last year. So if they were handwritten notes, take photos of them and back them up on your laptop. If you took digital notes, then back them up on a second hard drive or the cloud, just so you do have second copies of this because it's an absolute nightmare if you lose that. And then finally, if there is anything which is going to be relevant for your courses this year, then just familiarize yourself with last year's notes and the content so that you're ready to jump back in. This is especially relevant for if you're at school, I think. Okay, so now we're moving on to organization. The first thing is to go through your stationery and get rid of anything which isn't working anymore. I always have so many pens at the end of the year, which I never get rid of because I just like the pens. So I'm like, oh, I won't get rid of it. But obviously you have no use for a pen that doesn't work. Often though, if they are nice pens, you can get refills for them. So add new refills to any pens that have run out. Whilst you're doing this, make a note of anything you still need and then you can go stationary shopping and pick that up before the beginning of term. Okay, so now moving on to school bag related things. It's a good idea to clean out your school bag from last year. So take everything out there, it might be loose pieces of paper at the bottom, things in the side pockets, and also just give it a quick wipe down with some cold water and soap to make sure there's no dust or sticky patches. This is just quite nice to do on occasion. Next, pack your bag, of course, and also note down what you want to keep in it. I always like to make a quick note of the key essentials for my school bag. Pack your pencil case and again I used to make a note of my pencil case essentials. I don't do that now I'm at university but I used to do that at school and that was really useful because 
I feel like when you're at school you tend to lose pens a lot more because you lend them out to people and um, so every month or so I'd just go through my pencil case and cross-reference it with my list of pencil case essentials to make sure I actually had everything I needed. If you're at school, it's also a good idea to label things like school jumpers and pencil cases, name and also perhaps your classroom name or your form tutor. You also might want to make a school emergency kit of things you might need. So just a little pouch with some essentials like period products, lip balm, deodorant, It's nice to do some decluttering before the beginning of term to go through your wardrobe and get rid of things like donate or sell them so they can have a new home and a new life. Also clean your bedroom thoroughly, you know, properly disinfect your desk and your surfaces and hoover under your bed. Just make sure your room is all nice and clean and ready for the new term. This is a great way to like mark a new mindset and it always makes me more motivated to go back to school. And then finally, have a bit of a digital declutter. So clear out your desktop, your downloads folder on your laptop, uh, go through your camera roll, delete photos. So next we are going on to lifestyle related things, which are good to do before the new school year starts. First of all, make a note of some easy lunch and dinner ideas for when you're stuck for time. So pack lunch recipes, 10 minute din dinner recipes, and also five minute healthy breakfast recipes. It's good to have just five of each of these for when you're in a rush to make sure you're still eating good food because obviously it's really important for us to nourish our bodies. Also note down some good study snacks. You want to have ideas of things that you can have after school like quick snacks for study breaks and I like to keep a long list of my favorites of these so it's just that I can really quickly and easily go and get a snack which I enjoy. You also want to make sure that in the house and like in your school bag you always have dry snacks which are easy to transport so that when you're at school when you're on your way to campus for example you have something which you can just take out and snack on i'd recommend having a designated mini snack box like a tiny tupperware which is filled with a healthy trail mix to snack on during the day i, I fill mine with nuts plain biscuits dried fruit next i'd recommend planning out your ideal day things will get hectic quite quickly uh, when the academic year starts and this is a good thing just to have in place so as a part of this writing out morning and night routines of course which if you've been watching my videos for a while you'll know i'm a big advocate for planning your morning and night routines and having good morning and night routines in place because i believe this is what helps us to be productive during the day and to maximize our time making a note of your ideal day is really useful because just kind of planning how you're going to make time for all of the things that are important to you which includes seeing friends it includes taking time off and having time for self-care but also making sure you're making time for all of your commitments next decide what extracurriculars you want to sign up for go through what your school or university offers also make a list of things you want to do and achieve before the end of the term. This is just a great way to keep motivated and inspired and you can check back on this every week or so to make sure that you're working towards your goals. I'd recommend making some playlists on Spotify or Apple Music or YouTube. So one study playlist, you know, classical music, which you can study to, and then also a motivational playlist with more upbeat songs. And then finally, plan out five daily outfits for back to school so that you don't waste time thinking about what you're going to wear and you know that each of these five outfits are ones that you feel very comfortable in, very confident in. It's actually quite good to separate this into five different themes as well. So I'm showing you this plan I've made of like my five uh, daily outfits. So one if it's raining, one if it's warm, so you don't really have to think about what you're going to wear. And then finally, we've got some fun things to do before back to school because yes, summer is not over yet and it's a good idea to make the most of that time before it finishes. You might want to read a long book you won't have time for during the school year if there's a classic you've had your eye on or there's a series that you've been meaning to read. Read it now because you might not have the time to do that during the academic year. You might want to print some photos on free prints to put up in your university room or stick in notebooks. It's just nice to reflect on memories from the summer. Perhaps you want to make a scrapbook using these photos. At the end of the summer, I like to make memory videos of the summer and the best things I did. And it's just a nice thing to reflect back on and feel grateful for. Make a list of the things that make you happy, which you can look over when you're stressed or demotivated during 
school. I found that this is a good way to make sure that you are aware of your priorities and you keep those in order and you don't forget what is important to you. Which seems like a silly thing to say, but I think it's really easy to do when we get stressed and overwhelmed by things. Make an aesthetic Pinterest board with study inspiration uh, to get motivated and excited for back to school. You want to be excited. Back to school is an exciting time and just really channel that motivation. So for example, here is my dark academia mood board on Pinterest, which definitely gets me excited for back to university. Penultimately, take a day off entirely and just sit with yourself and be reflective, like really take it slowly. Don't let yourself stress about anything. Don't give yourself anything to do because, you know, recurring theme, the academic year can be stressful. It can be overwhelming. And it's nice to give yourself that time just for yourself and with yourself. And then finally, spend time with friends and family. It will like make the most of seeing friends that you won't be able to see during the academic year. Make the most of spending time with your family. Um, you definitely won't regret doing this. Anyway, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope that you found it helpful and if you couldn't already tell, my back to school series has officially started now. So I hope that you have a productive week.